Hello there. In the last video, you might have got confused of how I got the R7 it, R7 it, uh, R7 um, for tau, for L of R, how we got this, how, how did I determine that 12 was in parallel with the 16 ohm resistor? Well, remember, we had to find V open circuit over I short circuit to find R7 it. V open circuit, V open circuit over I short circuit to find R7. But there is a shortcut. Notice that we have independent sources in our circuit. If we have only independent sources in our circuit, we can find R7 directly. By first, you remove our load, remove the load, our inductor, take it out. See, I cut it from A and B, remove the load, and zero out independent, independent sources. We zero out current sources by opening them, and we short voltage sources okay now that we open these two current sources what's the resistor seen from a to b well from this from a you have the 16 ohm resistor and this 12 ohm resistor in parallel that's how i got the 12 in parallel with the 16 and that's how we found r7 okay and in, in this video i'm going to be uh, doing the same problem but we will be using node Known voltage analysis instead of source transformation. So hold up and I'll be right back. Okay, so in this problem, we'll, we need to declare our node, our nodes, and our ground reference when we're doing node voltage analysis. So we'll declare a node here, A. Let's declare it here as B. And let's declare this one as C. Okay, now uh, what, what, are the, what are the currents going out of node? A, there's one current, three amps, and this current, there's no current defined, so let's define it. We can define it arbitrarily when you use node voltage analysis. So I like to define all my currents going out, unless you have an independent source, so just leave it there. If there's an independent uh, current source going out, then um, just have it that direction. If it's going in, then have it in the direction. What you need is set up your equation. So what we have is three amps going out, so using Kirchhoff's current law, current's going in, equals current goes out. So we'll write all our currents going out on one side and all the currents going in on the other side. So let's write our currents going out. So it's 3 amp current out. And let's, let's define this current going out. So it'll be VA over 4 ohms plus this current going out from A to B. We have VA minus VB because we have a defined currents going from a plus to a minus, from a higher voltage to a lower voltage, divided by 6 equals to the currents going in. Well, we didn't find any current, we didn't define any currents going in, so it would be 0. Okay, now for node B, what are the currents? What are the, what are the currents going in? What are the currents going out? Well, that's, we have to define them. Well, since this we, since we have an independent current source going in, let's leave it there. We don't want to change it. So let's find all our other currents going out. Okay, so we have VB minus VA over 6 ohms plus, plus this current going out, VB minus VC over 6 ohms is equal to the currents going in. Well, we have 6 amps current going in equals to 6. Okay, now VC. Now, so VC is equal to 0 ohms. Uh, 0 volts, 0 volts, sorry. You notice why? Because when, we, when we're finding under steady state, inductors short. So this inductor will short. So we have a ground wire. So we have 0 voltage at node C. Essentially, that's what we're doing is we're separating this part of the circuit from this left side of the circuit. Okay? Well, what you're looking at is uh, essentially two circuits, if, if you can visualize that. We have this circuit, 12 ohms, and this 20 volt voltage source here, and this, uh, the left side. So we have 6 ohms, we have a uh, 6 amp current source. If you, oh, sorry. Whoops. 
six amps. So we have six amps here. Then six ohms. Six ohms. If you can visualize, this is ground. This is ground. This is a ground wire. So we have four ohms. Four ohms and this uh, three amp current source. Three amp current source. So since we have two uh, circuits, if you if you can visualize that. So we want to find this current and this current. Oh, it's easy. From here, this is just a simple uh, one resistor circuit. So let's find what this is. Let's call it I L one. Okay, I L one. What's the current? Well, we have voltage V equals I R. Using Ohm's law, so V divided by R is this current. We have the voltage twenty over twelve is equal to one point six six amps. That's for I L one. Okay. Now, now that we have VC, let's look at this this left side of the equation. Now we have VC is equal to zero volts. This is zero volts, so it's zero volts in here. And we'll, we'll start so solving our system of equations. Those two equations, two unknowns. Okay. Uh, let's solve this node B equation first. Get this out of the way. So we can multiply both sides by six to get rid of this six fraction. So we'll have VB minus VA plus VB equals 36 okay 36 then we add these so we have 2 vb minus va equals 36 and 2 vb is equal to oh sorry my 2 vb subtract both sides by 36 is equal to va okay that's va we'll substitute this into node uh node a's equation okay so let's simplify node A's equation by multiplying both sides by 24. So we'll have 24, 24 times 3 is 72 plus 6 VA, 24, 4 divided by, 24 divided by 4 is 6, so 6 VA plus 24 divided by 6 is 4, 4 VA minus 4 VB is equal to 0, okay. Then we have 72. Now we'll substitute. Oh no, we'll simplify this. So it'll be plus 10 VA minus VB equal to 0. Substitute VA into here. Sorry. Uh, so we have 72 plus 10 2 VB minus 36 minus 4. Oh, oh, sorry. Minus 4, right. Minus 4, because I multiplied 24 on both sides. So this would be uh, 4VB. 4VB. 4VB is equal to 0. Okay. Now now we just uh, simplify this. We have... Uh, we'll have uh, 72 plus... 20, 10 times 2 is 20, 20 VB. Uh, 10 times thir 36, negative 3, 3, uh, 300, uh, 30, 360 minus 4 VB is equal to 0. And we'll simplify 20 minus 4 is 16 VB. And and then 72 minus 360 will have 288 is equal to 0. And add both sides by 288. We get 288. So VB, add both sides by 16, is 18 volts. Okay. Now we have that VB here. This is VB. If you remember. Uh, VB, VB right here. VB is 18 volts 18 volts 18 volts and we want to find the current that goes here we'll call that uh, i l2 okay what's the current going this through this uh six ohm resistor well v equals ir v over r find the voltage voltage at vb is 18 18 divided by six we have three amps okay now, 
this is I. Uh, so now we need to add the I L plot equals I L one plus I L two, and so we have three plus one point six six, and we have four point six six amps. That's the current. That's our final current. That's our final current. That's the same as what we had last time. And now, and simply, now we need to find our theminus. Our theminus, our, because we have independent sources, remember, we can open current sources and short voltage sources, and then and remove the load. We remove the load, zero our independent sources. Okay, we do that on, on, on the side. So, move our load, our uh, inductor, and so we have call it A, we call it B. We'll have a resistor, and we'll have uh, oh, this six amp current source pops open or opens, and then we'll have a four ohm resistor, and this current source, three amp current source, also open by zeroing out it's open and we have this 12 ohm resistor and this 20 volt volt source by sh we short it to zero out so we have six ohms sorry so six ohms and then we go to oh this is be resistor six ohms four ohms so what we have is six 6 plus 6 plus 4 going to plus 4 and that's in parallel with 12 12 ohm resistor okay so we have so 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 6 is 16 so this is equal to 16 in parallel with 12 which is the same what we had last time and that so the equipment Resistance is 6.86 ohms for for our for our theminence equal to our theminence. Our theminence. Okay, and so now we do tau. Find tau is L of R. L of R theminence. It's L point four Henry. So it's Point four Henry divided by by six point eight six four divided by eight six we have uh point oh five eight three seconds. Okay. Now we can just put it all into this general equation and we'll have it. So this general equation it'd be I L T is equal to our final What's our final? What's our final? What's our final? Our final current. Our final current 4.66. 4.66. It's round. I, I didn't round it. So essentially it's supposed to be 4.67. But uh, it's okay. So and then we add our initial. Our initial current. Which is 3 amps here. Initial current. 3 amps minus our final current 4.66 uh, times E to the minus T over tau. Tau, tau is it is divided by 0 0.058 0 0.5083 3 seconds for t greater than zero and that's how we uh, that, this is a uh, just another method of solving this problem instead of using source transformation we use node analysis okay and thank you for watching